everyone. Today I want to talk about the DJI Flip, a new intra-level drone that's been making waves in the market. Priced affordably, it's really aimed at beginners looking to dive into the world of drone flying without breaking the bank. So, let's get into what makes this drone stand out, shall we? First off, the DJI Flip is super easy to operate. Like, you can literally hand launch it, which is just so cool. No complicated setup, just toss it in the air, and you're good to go. The controls are simple too, especially if you prefer the optional joysticks. It's designed so that even if you've never flown a drone before, you can pick it up and start having fun right away. Now, let's talk about the camera quality, which is a big deal for any drone. The Flip has a 1. 1.3 inch sensor that shoots in for 1000 at 60 frames per second. When you compare it to other drones in the same price range, it really holds its own. The image and video quality are impressive, making it a solid choice for anyone wanting to capture stunning footage without needing to invest in a high-end model. Moving on to the design and build, the DJI Flip has this unique look that honestly reminds me of a Star Wars at at mixed with a penny farthing bicycle. It's quirky and definitely eye-catching, plus, it's foldable, which is a huge plus for portability. You can easily toss it in your bag and take it anywhere. And speaking of durability, the materials used feel solid, which is reassuring when you're out flying. Performance-wise, this drone is pretty stable. It boasts a flight time of around 31 minutes, which is decent. When you compare it to models like the DJI Neo, it holds its ground. The gimbal performance and image stabilization are also noteworthy. You can expect smooth footage, even in windy conditions. But, let's keep it real there are some limitations. For instance, it lacks FPV capabilities, which might be a bummer for those looking for a more immersive flying experience. The noise level can also be a bit high which might bother some people, especially if you're in a quiet area. And if you're coming from the mini-series, the size might feel a bit off to you. When it comes to pricing and value, the DJI Flip is positioned against models like the DJI Mini 4 Pro. It's a great option for beginners who want something affordable yet functional. Availability is pretty good, making it easier for you to get your hands on one. So, to wrap it all up, the DJI Flip has its strengths and weaknesses. It's easy to operate, has solid camera quality, and is portable. But, there are some drawbacks, like the lack of FPV and noise concerns. If you're a beginner or just want something fun to fly around, I'd say give it a shot. Before you go, if you found this helpful, please hit that like button, subscribe for more reviews, and drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the DJI Flip or any other drones you're interested in. Remember, flying should be fun, so choose what fits your needs best. Thanks for watching and happy flying!